click it here so this button is supposed to do that now so this is how you can read the value and then write to the control okay okay now we can move forward to uh, quickly to the checkbox checkbox okay so here's our checkbox toggle button we'll use a similar uh, when the button is pressed we will generate a code so let's set uh, two things first will be maybe we can also set on action oh okay it automatically inserts those checkbox click something like this and then get pressed here we can say checkbox this will be the name of the call byte checkbox pressed and we will just replicate this one will suffice but just yeah maybe we'll just get rid of this because the idea is same we don't have to rewrite multiple conditions so on action and then get pressed now let's get the callback for this too somewhere here so here we will set the same thing let's call this control is going to be the control and here um, by value which we don't have to press as boolean here we'll declare one more uh, variable let's call this um, maybe um, check status something like that and it's gonna be boolean true or false and here it's called to this so this will set update this value and then get press can uh, that will return whatever is pressed again I'm just gonna take this 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 and then this for this one um, we can just say return it will return this okay we can also write in this fashion um if we want to read we will need to have a button to be able to get the status of that so maybe we can just have one more button here so oh sorry this is going to be the label this button can be five so if you see underlined there is some problem If this is true, it is checked, and then it is not checked. Okay, let's try.
so it is checked it is not checked okay so this is how you can read and you can set the value I mean yeah you can update the memory variable as well okay that will be for the checkbox now I'll just quickly demonstrate one last thing for uh, contextual uh, tabs like when you click on the pivot or when you click on the chart only then those um, tabs are gonna show up like the normal Excel tabs from where you can you know like add additional controls which can perform certain utilities for those um, you know features within Excel or other products okay so going back to XML for this I'm just gonna use uh, the one we set up earlier so in this series I think I don't remember exactly which episode was that okay this quad uh, for quad we have to set the um, start from scratch option to true okay this is the contextual app uh, I'll just quickly give a demo so once you select this and then see uh, when you are outside um, in a normal cell you don't see those um, tab but when you activate the chart you see chart utility step and then you can add certain controls similarly for pivot table you click on pivot only then you will be able to see the pivot utilities okay it's not here in this one but the idea is that um, okay so let's quickly get um, the XML for that well, we don't have to retype this Uh, okay so this contextual tab till here and then this for pivot utilities and this for chart so let's start off with uh, one of them once you can do one then it's the same actually so going back to our XML uh, so here this contextual tab is right under uh, ribbon so I'm gonna go back here before this tab uh, XML tag I'm gonna insert this and then do it here okay now let me get rid of this pivot utilities and <laughs> okay that's our neighbor um, just gonna hide this so this will be called chart utilities button 5 exists so I'm gonna change it to 5 and 6 this is the label this is the action maybe we can call this um, change chart type something like that this is just a demonstration again and then um, change color definition something and the code 1 and 2 is going to run and this is going to be the image that will show up okay so we can go ahead and just give it a shot maybe we can just assign to run this code when this runs group 1 is giving an error let's just change it to group 1x So if you are in a normal cell, this is not going to show up. So let me just quickly generate a data. And let me add a chart. So here you can see chart utilities pop up. And once you go here, you'll be able to see change color definition. This is going to be like it's check, it's not check because we are calling this code. I was gonna say it is checked okay so this is how you can um, add um, contextual tabs and if you go to the blog there will be a list of all the contextual tabs that you can add in this similar fashion you're gonna add and then uh, you already know about this group how to group add a group and then within the group we are adding two buttons so the more groups um, so before we wind up let's quickly take a look uh, these are groups and these are the name of the group uh, the group ID so for example this is the name of the tab itself the label 
and the ID that has to all be unique all this control IDs has to be unique level one two three this is the code uh, the callback that is going to happen uh, to get the labels automatically group two that is more controls and then here so similarly you know like um, this dynamic menu for the drop down which is static and then this dynamic menu this for edit box uh, again all these examples or very close examples will be there in the blog as well you can check it out from there and now uh, if you have any questions comment below uh, for now I'm gonna stop this video here I hope you found it uh, useful and informative um, if so do not forget to leave a like and also share with your friends and colleagues um, so that um, we can do more videos with your support okay so thank you so much for watching and you have a great day ahead bye bye